Right, so uh, today we are going to discuss about how to debug a SQL stored procedure or any SQL queries in a SQL Server Management Studio. So these kind of uh, problems uh, we are facing regularly. So if we have a long and lengthy queries or a stored procedures in the SQL Server. So sometimes you have to debug this uh, uh, lengthy code uh, line by line. So in that kind of scenarios, so how can we uh, debug a SQL stored procedure or a simple uh, SQL statement? Simple SQL, SQL statement I have here like uh, so I have one variable that is uh, at the rate of row number and I have declared and the value I have given is uh, assigned to 0 and I am just looping this uh, row number until this is less than or equal to less than to 10. So, so that many number of times it is just printing the at the rate of at the rate of server name. So if you want to debug this one how it is working and how the values are coming and uh, so what values it is getting every time when it is incrementing. So if you want to debug we have the option in the SQL server that is a debugging option. Okay. So you just click on this debug button. Sorry. So when you are going to click on this debug button first it will select the first line whatever the statement in your code. So the first statement in my code is the declare at the rate of row number integer equal to 0. So you can see over here. So what is the variable you have declared here? So that is coming under locals window. So how can you open this locals window? So if you want to open this locals window if it is not able to open. So you just go to debug under windows you can go to the locals window. So this locals window will display all this information about the what variables and how the variable values are getting. So right now the, there is no value for this variable because we are just declaring the variable. Once the first line this step is completed then it will assign the value to this at the rate of row number is value equal to 0 over here. Right. So if you want to go to the forward the, the next statement if you want to move. So how can you go? You just go to debug. If you want to go to the next statement, step over. Step over means yes, the first statement debugging is completed and I want to move to the next statement. So you have to click on the step over. In your keyboard, if you want to press F10, you have to use. Okay, I'm going to use the F10 in my keyboard. So it is moving to the next statement. So if you observe here, the value for this at the rate of row number is assigned zero value over here right so now the cursor is in the place of while at the rate of row number less than or equal to 10 so I want to go forward so go to debug and press step over so it is going to the second third uh, statement so in this way if you want to go to one by one one by one you have to press the F10 right so it is uh, giving the value like uh, what is the server name all those things it is printing every time right so once this is completed it will come out so in this way I want to debug a stored procedure and this stored procedure having this cursor I have declared one cursor and this cursor is displaying all the accounts descriptions what kind of accounts I have here and I'm passing the input parameter for this one is the account type okay right so if you want to execute a stored procedure so I'm declaring one input parameter and the input parameter value I'm going to give is at the rate of essence okay and execute procedure name the variable value I'm going to pass as the input parameter so if you want to start the debugging just go to debug click on the debug okay so why that kind of error is coming sorry just click on the debug debug session is already started only one active debug session is supported so you have to stop this debugging session right the earlier debugging session okay so now I am going to start this debugging session if you want to start the debugging click on the debug right so it is started the debugging steps and if you want to see the locals window and means that locals window having all the information about 
what is the variable it is declared so at the rate of account type so this step is over the second step if it is completed then it will assign the value access to this variable right so that variable I am going to pass as input parameter for this stored procedure so now what I what I'm going to do here I want to move forward to the next step so which one you have to press that is F10 step over right just press F10 over here it will move to the next step so what exactly uh, the third statement execute a procedure name and input parameter so if you want to go detail a debugging inside the stored procedure so what you have to do so actually this account info is a stored procedure the code is over here so if you want to debug this entire code what you have to do go to debug and you have to press step into so if you're clicking on the step into it will go more detailed into the stored procedure so or you can press f11 in your keyboard just click on step into so what happened it is jumping into that particular stored procedure see this is the stored processor so right now it is in the this statement it is executed so total three variables it is declared account type account description and get account description so right now only the account type having the asset value okay so now I want to move to the next statement that is F10 you have to press F10 so and it has uh, fetch the next statement and while loop it is executed and the account description is getting assets and in this way we have to debug one by one so the while loop will see every time whenever it is the while loop is uh, looping the value changing over here the value whatever it is printing is changing over here right so you can check over here see if I'm pressing F10 now it is other receivables if I'm pressing another one, the other value will come. That is allowance for bad debits. All the information, how it is executing, step by step, step by step, how many times the while loop will end, when the while loop will end, until the condition is satisfying, at the rate of, at the rate of a status equal to zero, it will execute. Okay, right. So at the end, or if you want to stop the debugging, just, what you have to press? You have to press the, step out if you are in the debugging mode you have to click on the step out mode simple for example if I'm starting here right I will start once again stop the debugging stop the debugging Right, so I'm going to start once again the debugging. Debug. Right, so step over and step into F11 I have pressed. Now it is coming over here. So if you want to stop the debugging process from here, then you just click on the step out. That is shift F11 you have to click. Okay, for example, you are in uh, another window and if you want to find out your cursor, the debugging cursor is in which window and in which statement so you just right click and uh, so you have to find out the so trace query not trace query right so in your uh, window just right click and you have you will get run to cursor just click on the run to cursor sorry so show next statement it will come to over here right click and show next statement it will go where exactly your cursor is debugging in that particular window it will display okay and what about this add watch quick, uh, quick watch so this add watch is for example which variable you want to track if you want to monitor over here what values are coming what values are assigning so you can add this variable add watch or you can 
delete this variable as well for example so this variable if you want to add to add watch so you just click over here and if you want to remove this variable clear all okay which variable you want to add to this monitoring window just click on that window and add watch or if you want to remove that one from this monitor window right click and delete watch okay so in this way you can debug a queries simply if you have a long and lengthy queries so thanks for watching the video please subscribe the video